While Serena Williams was out finding new ways to make money, we were compiling the latest and greatest stories from around the tennis world. Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update. Yes, Serena Williams has added another title to her resume, Fitness DJ. According to TennisFixation.com, she's been selling her workout playlists at Walmart and you can also purchase the Pulse Pounding tunes on Amazon. According to the cover photos of both Volume 1 and Volume 2, Serena works out on the beach, clad in only a bathing suit. Who knew? James Blake told USA Today that he believes some tennis players are doping. The paper also reported that Major League Baseball conducts 15,000 tests annually compared to just 2,000 annual tests for tennis. Blake had this to say about the issue, quote, I'm realistic with this much money involved, 1.9 million for the winner of the US Open. People will try to find a way to get ahead. And former French Open champion Yannick Noah has not backed down from the comments he made a year ago insinuating widespread doping among Spanish athletes. In fact, he recently said that the problem is likely more widespread than he initially thought. And he believes players should get tested a whopping 60 times per year. Tour veteran Tommy Haas re-entered the top 20 this week, and he also became the 38th player in the Open era to reach 500 career victories. The 34-year-old returned to the Tour a year ago after missing chunks of the last three and a half years with hip and shoulder injuries. Congratulations! Robin Soderling may be sidelined from the Tour thanks to a severe bout of mononucleosis, but he's got something new to celebrate. The 28-year-old Swede welcomed a daughter this week with his wife Jenny. And it looks like we might be seeing Kim Kleisters at some tournaments in the coming year, as she is signed on to advise fellow Belgian Kirsten Flipkins. While Kleisters won't be her full-time coach, she's happy to help out her friend of over 20 years. Flipkins went on to say, quote, To everyone else, she's Kim the tennis player, but to me, she's Kim. Last but not least, we have some laugh-worthy footage courtesy of Deadspin. Marco Cudinelli caught a fan dozing in his match against Janko Tipsarevich earlier this month and was so annoyed that he actually halted play until the snoozing spectator stirred from his slumber. Behind the court and Ali Nili has just asked Tipsarevich to wake him up. <laughs> That's all for the Tennis Now News update. Do you think tennis has a doping problem? Let us know your thoughts on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.